In this video, I'll show you how to fix not being able to log into the Epic Games Launcher. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Let's get into some solutions for when you can't go and log into the Epic Games Launcher. So the first thing you need to do is go and close off of it just like so. Then what you need to do is press on the Windows key and the R button, or alternatively just tap on search and type in run like so. And this is um, basically a way where we can get directly to files. And what you need to do is type in app data just like so and then go and tap OK and we're taken straight to this folder here. Then what we need to do is go and double tap into local like this and then scroll down until you go and see the option for Epic Games. It shouldn't be too far down, it should be in alphabetical order. Here it is. Then what we can do is go and delete these two folders here and these folders are basically caches of the Epic Games app, so clearing them is a good thing to do. And in this case, I'm going to delete both of these folders here. We've got Epic Games Launcher and then Epic Games as well. So to go and delete it, all you need to do is right click on it and then go and press on this bin icon or go and tap on delete if you're on Windows 10 here or you can just go and press the delete key on your keyboard, which I firstly did. And then make sure you go and open up your recycle bin and go and delete it out of there as well. So go and click on it on your desktop or you can go and search for it as well. And then just go and highlight everything, right click on it and press delete and then confirm your decision of permanently deleting it. Now, the next thing you need to do is go and repair Epic Games. So to do that, all you need to do is go to the bottom and go and tap on search and go and type in control panel like so. It should come up just by typing in control and here we are. And then what you need to do is go and tap on uninstall a program beneath programs like this and then go and search for Epic Games. You can also go and scroll down here, but I just prefer to go and search for it like that. Then once you go and see the Epic Games launcher, all you need to do is right click on it. Then once you go and see the Epic Games launcher, go and click on it. And then at the top, you can go and tap on repair or alternatively, you can right click on it and press repair as well. Then you'll go and get a Windows Cootie pop up, which unfortunately I can't go and record, but you'll need to go and agree to it. Then as you can see, Windows is going and configuring it and gathering everything and you can just sit back and wait. And there we go, it's now finished. So now what you need to do is go and open up the Epic Games Launcher again and see if you can go and log in. So I've gone and clicked on it. And then once you've gone and opened it up again, it's then going to go and install an update. So wait for this to finish. And then after it's finished updating, Epic Games should launch again and then you can try and sign in and see if that fixes the problem. And if you're still having problems with it, then what I recommend doing is checking the Epic Games status. So go and open up a web browser and go to a search engine and literally just go and search Epic Games status. If Epic Games is having some downtime, then it may stop you from logging in. As you can see, there's actually a full web page about the Epic Games status. And here we are, everything is operational. But if something's down here, then it's going to be shown. If that still hasn't fixed a problem, then what I recommend doing is going to the bottom of Windows and you can do is type in remove program like so. And then what you'll need to do is make sure Epic Games is closed and then you can go and search Epic Games just like this and it should appear and then what you need to do is go to uninstall these. To do that, go onto the right hand side and press on the three dots and then you can press uninstall like that for both of them and follow the steps and then you can go back to the Epic Games website, re-download it and see if that fixes your problem. If you guys found this useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.